Hello, everyone, and welcome back. Uh, it's John and Cosmos Solutions 8. And today, we're going to talk about how to calculate your profit directly in Google Ads. Yes. Now, this is going to be strictly for e-commerce businesses, so people that have lead generation. There's still a way to do this, but this video is not for you. The next video may be for you, so stay tuned. So stay tuned. See what I, I love there. that I just introduced the videos, and then you talk the entire rest of the time. I think <laughs> sooner or later, people are going to catch on and be like, I think I know who really works over there. And Kasim, uh, take it away. Yeah. <laughs> so you're going to need some metrics, some KPIs. Going to need to do some Googling and some adding. Yeah. Yeah. The Googling Google. ads. <laughs> awesome. Oh, yeah. Let me start sharing here uh, so you can kind of jump right in because people are probably getting annoyed at us. All right. <clears throat> Again, as usual, you're going to see some fuzziness on the screen. That's just because it, our, it, our clients are private. You don't get them. Anyway, uh, last seven days, here's what you're going to see on the screen. The cost spent $2,600 in Google ads, had 75 sales. This is actually 74.43, but because of delete attribution, the click came before the time period we're looking at now. This just says 75. Um, conversion value, there was $9,915 worth of products sold. Return on ad spend is 370%. Now you think, well, I spent 2,600. I made 9,900, basically 10 grand. So spent Obviously, use round numbers. Spent twenty five hundred, made ten grand, looking good. What is my profit on that? Well, you'll see another column here called profit, three thousand dollars. So for the last seven days, when you're including ad costs, you're including your your you're taking into consideration what your average profit margin is, and you can actually build a column inside here to make a profit column. And the cool part about this is is not very difficult to do, but it is very important to know what campaigns are bringing you, you know, where, what profits or, or how much profit is. Because if I look at, you know, this campaign here, which is going to be blurred out, but this is a brand new campaign that we just started. And that's why we've only spent um, $228 on it, but we made 263. So we have 115% return on ad spend, but we actually lost $82 and 45 cents. Mm -hmm. So this campaign isn't, you know, quote unquote profitable yet, but it, again, it is a brand new campaign. But as soon as this one here says, you know, plus a dollar, or as soon as it says $1, no matter what, we've made money at the end of the day. And I think that that's something that a lot of the clients that we work with is, is I say, well, what's, what's your goal? Do you have a return on that spend goal? Well, yeah, 200% sounds great. You know, I'm doubling my money. I put a dollar in, I get $2 out. Awesome. But then you need to think about, okay, well, what are your costs? What are your costs associated with manufacturing, shipping? If you're if you're having free shipping, is that in your profit margin? Your overhead. You know, what's your you know? Do you pay yourself? Do you have employees? Do you have rent? Do you have insurance? Do you have everything? All that needs to be taken into consideration, or at least in a very minimalist say, what is the average? If you earned a dollar, what do you get to keep out of that? Twenty percent, eighty percent, whatever it is, and you can actually build that column here. So under columns, go to modify columns. And you'll scroll all the way down to the bottom and you'll see custom columns. This is what you can build. And inside of custom columns for this client, uh, when we open up profit, when we click on edit, it's the conversion value multiplied by 0.66 because he has a 66% profit margin. So it's going to be the conversion value um, multiplied by 66 minus the cost. And then he has another formula here of 11x conversions. And I forget exactly why this client has that, but with the formula that we put together in order to create this, he says, well, I have about 66% profit margins, but it's only after a certain amount of uh, conversions has been sold. Yeah, All right. That makes sense. So I think what he's doing here is he's saying, I have a minimum baseline in order to keep the lights on, mm -hmm. but I absolutely have to have this many deals or whatever it is. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. It's kind of like the, and we can do this, you know, much more rudimentary. If you just say, you know, conversion value times 0 0.50, it's like 50% profit margin minus my cost. We'll give you a good, good rough estimate. And you have some people that are way more advanced and some people that are way more rudimentary, but if you can at least take into consideration what your average profit margin is, um, then just you can build that formula in here. And that formula, when you save it and you apply it, um, just like how the other one we built called return on ad spend, is the conversion value divided by the cost and put that in a percentage form. So you can actually start to say, Knowing what my spend is and knowing what my sales are, if I know what my profit margin is, you can actually calculate that formula out and then see, okay, I, I didn't make $10,000 this week after I had to pay everybody and pay for all my, my overhead, I'm left over 3,000. And not bad, $3,000 profit per week. Mm -hmm. um, this gentleman is, is mostly a solopreneur and this is just, you know, obviously Google ads and it's just for a small snapshot. 
But if we take into consideration since, you know, let's say, let's just look at like a year to date, um, January 1st. So January 1st, um, you know, 27,000 in spend, $165,000 conversion value, 600% return on ad spend, $66,000 in profit. After everything's said and done, 66,000 in his pocket. Um, not bad for, for just one of his avenues that he's marketing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so that, that's a way that you can actually look at what your, what your profit is or calculate at least what your profit is. So that when you look at your Google ads, you're not like, okay, it says X, I made Y, but my bank account says something way different. Ah, what does this really mean? Your profit should match what your bank account says. Um, and the way to do that is by using these custom columns. Will you go back to the custom column over the, the creation? I just have mm -hmm. some questions. Yeah. So the, the data that's available to us when we're creating one of these, these custom columns, what mm -hmm. can you use and what can't you use? You can use pretty much everything. You can't use metrics that are like, you know, bounce rate um, for, for e-commerce, I guess I would say. But you can, you can pretty much use almost everything that's in actually the uh, conversions tab, the performance tab, and the competitive metrics tab. Well, that's basically everything. It's interesting here because it's not just, <laughs> it's not just value based. If you have a really specific KPI, mm -hmm. you know, like I'm thinking about campaigns that have lag or lead indicators and you know, gosh, when my bounce rate hits below this or whatever, something absurd, then you can begin kind of massaging that um, ahead of time. And I just yeah. one example that you said we can't use, which is bounce rate, but you know what I'm getting at. Yeah, but you can do that. But like, like, but the conversion value by click, this gives you actually an average total of how much value every user is worth to you. Mm -hmm. um, so if you have a larger campaign that's talking about, you know, top of funnel, real high, um, high commercial intent branding, um, and you know that every click is that you have, um, you know, costs you a dollar because a dollar cost per click, for example, but your conversion value per click is a dollar fifty. Now you know that you're positive. Well, then you can also use that minus your costs, for example, and say, well, how much am I willing to really spend? And where's my threshold? And when do I start becoming profitable? Um, and that's for, you know, like an e-commerce type of platform as well. Um, you can really do, or, you know, the performance, the clicks, average cost per milli, and valid click rate if you have some spam problems. But you can put together any sort of formula that you would want to have inside of here. Um, to find out when you take what the Google Ads data is, comparison to your own personal data or your own business data, what is the end result? And that's one of the ways that we've we've been really um, find and we found really useful for e-commerce is you know you don't have to guess what your profit is. Um, you're arguing me that Google doesn't have ROAS as a default. Like, why on earth wouldn't that be in the dashboard? It is. It's uh, conversion value by cost. So you'll see here, four point seven six is four hundred seventy six. Five six eight is five sixty eight. 0.28, 20, you know, 27. We put it in a percentage format. Um, so the conversion value by cost, you, this is essentially your ROAS. Your ROAS is 4.76. Well, it's hard to say like what my ROAS is 4.76 was. I mean, well, your return on your ad spend is at 476%. Yeah, I'm just trying to be petulant. I know exactly what you're saying. Like the data is there, but you know, you want to put this in front of business owners in a way that they understand and the way that they think about everything. And that's the, the yeah. conversion value by cost isn't, it's not it. So I realize it's a knit, it's a nuance, but I think it's yeah. an important one. Yeah, exactly. And what's funny too is I, I'm glad that this is actually in recorded video form and it will be on Google and for forever. So uh, when the column ROAS does come out, I say, aha. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Well, yeah. this is great. And I think there's, I mean, gosh, the use cases for the custom columns is just limitless. Yeah. And there's going to be, uh, and here's what's cool is inside of Google ads, what they're actually doing now is you see these new ones that are, that are up orders, average card size, average order value, costs of goods sold, gross profit revenue. We have one or we have two clients that were actually working through the, the kinks and the bugs. Apparently we just found out as per Google, it's doesn't work on Shopify. That column that sends that over to Google doesn't work. It's just a dead column. So these are there. They're going to be able to be used soon. It's in beta. So we're kind of beta testing these new ones. Found out it doesn't work with Shopify. Um, yeah, that wasn't fun to find out. But um, this will be much more streamlined where you don't have to build these soon. Um, but again, how how well this is going to work is really going to be dependent upon your website. But just as a little snapshot of, of things to come in Google, you're seeing a kind of a sneak peek at some really cool stuff that's going to be available soon for, for e-commerce. Yeah, that's unbelievable. Google's going to map all of your data I mean, down to your, your hard cost shipping, I imagine, fulfillment, customer yeah. service, returns. They're going to know exactly to the penny how much money you're making. I think what's kind of cool about this, too, is Google's going to make it so simple the future where it's just going to say, here's everything. How much more money do you want to spend with us? That's yeah, going to be well, the only I actually, even simpler than that, how much more money do you want to make? 
you know, like how, hey. how, how much more could you sell before we're done? Because yeah. Yeah. Enter your return on ad spend desired here. Give us your credit card. You win. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's uh, it's scary, but it's true. Well, that's exciting. Thanks for sharing this, man. This is, this is a really good one. You got it. Yeah. This is fun. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. What's the thing they do, John, on the subscribe, hit the bell? Hit the bell notification, which will make your phone beep incessantly whenever we shoot a video, which, yeah. of course, you're just going to want to come back and watch anyway, so you might as well do it. You know you want to. Uh, if you ask questions, we'll answer them. It'll actually be us answering them. And if you want a free uh, evaluation of your campaigns, then we'll do that. And we do it by hand, by the way. It's not like a bot or something stupid. No, we use keyboards. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's awesome. Amazing. <laughs> technology. Um, thanks, y'all. We'll see you next time. Thanks.